Cameron was unfortunately struck by a car last year, um, sort of very badly hurt, um, sort of had concussion for you know ever since. And somehow he's managed to get on with his life, get on with things, and he's just managed to get through his GCSEs really, really well. And you know, against all expectations, really, he's managed to pass that, and he's, he's now able to go back to do his A levels. Somehow, even with such a bad head injury, so he's managed to pull it all round and. He's just been great ever since, really. He's, he's, he's worked so hard. We've, we've got tutors for him and we've helped to support him and he's, he's just managed to meet all these challenges head on. And it's still, it's, it's a bit upsetting for him to talk about still, I think. It's, yeah. It has affected him in ways probably we didn't really pick up on. Yeah. He's kept a lot of it to, you know, to himself, really. But, you know, he's, he's done really well. My name is Alex Neal and I was Cameron's head of year over Key Stage 4. Cameron has shown an impressive level of resilience following his accident. He'd already decided that he wanted to pursue A-levels at sixth form, and despite necessary timetable alterations, Cameron remained focused on what he needed to do, and is now studying media, product design and geography. And it says a year's gone by already, and he's, it was a year yesterday it happened, yeah. What, um, what results did you get for GCSEs? I think you a B in English, and then a C in everything apart from geography. It did massively affect him straight away. He missed a lot of school to start off with. Yeah. Um, luckily, his school were brilliant and he managed to you know, calm things down a bit based off sort of the physio we were seeing and things like that. They were sort of saying he, it, it's overwhelming for him now while he recovers. Uh, you know, I perform everything that was said to him. And he's, he's, he's gone to all different, he's been to physiotherapists, he's been to neurologists, he's been in and out of hospital and he's just met it all head on and done so well. We all were very, very proud of him. Oh, yeah, your skin and bones turn into something beautiful. And you know, for you, I beat myself trying. For you, I bleed myself trying.